do the required rituals, which can, you know, they can range from deep meditation, chants, mantra chants, yoga, uh, believe it or not, bisexual orgies, and even human sacrifices. You know, this is the reason why a lot of these organizations are so secret. Okay, these rituals, and, and let, me, let me make it perfectly clear, uh, a lot of individuals at the lower ranks have no idea what goes up higher up in the pyramid. But a lot of individuals that are in these secret sites are really good people. Um, they just have just kind of naive about what goes up on top at the, at, you know, at the uh, top level or the, and even the mid sections of this uh, uh, pyramid within their secret society. So these rituals are documented in their sacred books, you know, such as the Kabbalah Tal Talmud, uh, which is a Jewish book, the Lesser Keys of Solomon, which is one of the official books of the Kabbalah, uh, which, which, you know, King Solomon, this is based on King Solomon when he turned away from God and started, you know, with his, a lot of his pagan wives, stirred, steered him away to the Babylonian traditions and he started channeling demonic spirits and things like that that's why he lost his kingdom because of that so you know the book is called the lesser keys of solomon where he talks about channeling 72 demons and um you look at a lot of the cults and secret societies around the world they subscribe to this matter of fact this is the freemasons basically official religion is the kabbalah okay so the mainstream New Age belief system and secret societies such as the Freemasons, the Illuminati, Rosicrucians, you know, the Yogis embrace this belief system. Now, a lot of people don't believe me. They say, well, you're going a little bit too far, you know. But here is a quote from Freemason's most celebrated member, a 33rd degree Freemason, Albert Pike, who also is credited he's credited for founding the Ku Klux Klan. That's right, the Ku Klux Klan. Um, you know, I always, you know, used to wonder because they have a huge statue of this guy in Washington, D.C., um, right down the street from the Capitol. And I'm wondering why Jesse Jackson or Al Sharpton, I mean, they're protesting everything else, but they're not going to protest this um, statue. So I thought that was kind of interesting, but then I found out uh, that they're both Masons. They're both Freemasons, high up. I believe that even Jesse Jackson, a 33rd degree Freemason. So that's the reason. It's a secret. Okay, so here's a quote from his book. This is Albert Pike from his book, um, Morals and Dogma, which basically came like the handbook for the higher degree Freemasons. They, I mean, this thing's racking up sales um, even on the Freemasons' websites. I mean, like, like I said, any Freemasons know about Albert Pike. Okay, and his buddy Manzini actually started. Who was also a 33rd degree Mason, started the Italian Mafia. Ain't that interesting? But I'm going to quote from the source books, Morals and Dogma, Albert, you know, author Albert Pike. And he states here on page 321, Lucifer, the son of the morning, isn't he who bears the light? Doubt it not. Lucifer, the son of the morning, isn't it he who bears the light? Doubt it not. That's page, but but check this out. Now this is the all seeing eye, like we've been discussing, uh, also known as the eye of Horus. Um, this is embraced by the Freemasons, secret societies, uh, pagan religions uh, throughout the whole world. But I thought you might find this interesting. Now, like I said, this is the eye of Horus, who was you know Horus was the sun god or Ra or the morning star and aka also known as the light bearer okay the light bearer actually in latin means lucifer isn't that interesting now look at second corinthians eleven fourteen. okay this all ties into the bible for satan himself is transformed into an angel of light an angel of light hmm on page 200 for the initiate, initiates, and this, is, this is him talking, quote, unquote, this, talking about Satan, is not a person, but a force. And that's what the New Age believe. They believe that God is a force. Created for good, but which may serve for evil. So they believe that, you know, like the yin-yang, you need evil and you need good to have a nice little balance there. You know, 
so it says the end justified the means, you know. So, I mean, that's the way, you know, Satan gets a foothold, you know, for sin inside these secret societies. Hey, you can do evil as long as, you know, something good comes out of it. You know, it's almost like an individual gets caught for stealing a car. And he says, yeah, you know, I stole the car. That was my yin. That's, that means evil. But, you know, I took my grandma to church on Sunday, and that was my yang. That was positive. So it all balanced out. But see, that's the type of philosophy a lot of them, that all of them have, that subscribe to this type of uh, religion. So, it, like I said, for the initiates, this is not a person but a force created for good, but which may serve for evil. It is the instrument of liberty of free will. You know, kind of like Aleister Crowley, the most celebrated Satanist and 33rd degree Freemason um, that a lot of rock groups. I mean, he's the one that really promoted the backward mass messaging. He would have a statement that would say, do what thou will. OK, that also 